Hello guys, this is your boy Neil Gonzalez, Gonzalez Weather X45 Special Report bringing you um <sighs> This is really sad and um this is not funny. Um this is a really bad news. Um This is um really s something sad, quite sad news. That's um that I'm recording right now, and I'm going to tell you what's uh, what's really sad in this news. Yes, you know Fox 5 News, right? You know you be watching the commercial and all that stuff, and the predicament, and, you know, all that news, new papers, sports, weather, criminals, and all that events, current events going on from Fox 5 News. Well, I got some really sad stuff to tell you. Two people who who um, didn't predict the weather correctly from during last weekend. As remember, it was supposed to be a blizzard for our northeast coast from um, I think it was by three weeks ago, when Monday and Tuesday there was supposed to be a blizzard, and this black person, I, I, um, this black person was showing the weather, and he was good at explaining the weather, how bad it was going to be. It was just full excitement. But what came wrong was that the blizzard didn't hit the northeast. It hit over Boston. So, um, the black man was getting confused and he couldn't predict the weather. And he, he said it was going to be 30 inches of snow still, even though the blizzard is not going to hit. But guess what? Um, the black man said that, um, oh, that it's... Don't don't let that thing fool you because there's gonna be a lot there's a lot of snow pouring down in the northeast a lot and I mean a lot snow pouring down he said it repeat a lot it's gonna pour down don't let it trick you it's gonna be thirty inches of snow but nope it didn't happen what happened was that we were just expecting strong gusty winds that were just moving through the northeast Boston had um, heavy snow that was hitting the hardest Long Island was having a blizzard and um, what happened is that um, the black man who re who didn't um, predict the weather correctly got fired. So they said, we got to kick this guy out. We have to really, really step on foot on the weather. So the black man who did the Fox 5 News weather statement issue explaining and all the errors and mixed errors, he got fired. So he got kicked out from Fox 5 News. And um, there was another weather um, reporter. Um, it was this time. This was a female. She was explaining the weather. It was like an old lady from Fox Five News. Um, she was explaining how bad the weather was going to be. It was. She still did the same mistake like the, what this black person did. It was over. She said it was going to be over thirty inches of snow, twenty to thirty inches of snow, three thirty point. Um, seven inches of snow for our northeast, but no, that didn't happen. We had over 15.4 inches of snow because the blizzard didn't hit our northeast. The blizzard hit on Long Island and Boston. The old lady um, didn't predict the weather correctly. Also, she didn't predict it correctly because she didn't predict the cold air mass. She didn't even said that the cold air was significant. Especially how the the real significant of snow. So what happened is the the person said that nope we that we gotta kick this person out. She didn't predict the weather correctly. She didn't predict the significant how much ice we're gonna get, how much Arctic air we're gonna have, and that is called global warming. We didn't have a lot of cold air, but now this time we're having a lot of cold air, which I'm gonna make another update about that. So, yeah, and I will record that tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, so that old lady got fired. So two people who didn't predict the weather correctly over the blizzard that didn't really hit the northeast. And it, it only hit Boston. Only, like, from Long Island. Only Long Island Boston was hit the hardest. And there were lightning, lightning bolts that were um, coming, but they, um, the old woman also suggested that the lightning 
conditions were coming for the northeast but it didn't happen all we just expected was just strong winds and cold air mass a little bit of snow to a little heavy snow but still that wasn't an occupation the real occupation was 15.4 inches of snow so what happened is that old lady was kicked out but i have to say that's messed up in my personal opinion people can't predict the weather and it's not easy People, and I'm telling you straight off, it's not easy pr to predict the weather. The reason why is because you had to know which sketch the storm is going to head for and which current cold air mass is going to head in, especially warm air mass that's going to head in. It's really risky because we probably don't have a machine. And do you know what they should should have done? They should have not fired those two people because they were working hard. At least they made a put up effort on the weather. I mean, that doesn't make no type of sense to me. Why would two people get fired just because they didn't predict the weather correctly? It's not easy. Do you know what scientists should have done? They should have just made a machine that could contribute the storm to see where the storm is heading. Remember when Hurricane Sandy hit New York City? That was the storm that they made a, made a, a big success in. And I remember the, the, black, the black man and the old lady made a big, huge success with Hurricane Sandy, um, Blizzard, Hercules, and all these other storms. But until then, they started failing in predicting the weather, which means they started to get losing money. And now people are starting to say, Oh, th this is bad. They can't predict the weather. Oh, they're so stupid. They don't predict the weather. Oh my god, like what the hell? If this is global warming. It's gonna be bad. What They say it's gonna be bad. They can't predict the weather. What the freak is wrong with these people? They should get kicked out. We need a better weather person that could predict it. No, no, no. People can't predict the weather. And that's what people don't understand. There is a crisis going on. People, people are complaining that all oh, kids are not kids are not going to school because MSP. And not just only that. There's that's another sad story that I'm including. MSP said that they're they're supposed to close schools when there's a frigid cold air temperature, but um, Governor Charlie said no. We're going to let the kids have their education. They, le they need to learn more besides hanging out all day with their friends during that over some stupidity weather. Yes, I understand. People can hang out. They start freaking around like a bunch of monkey teenagers nowadays in the future. But still, MSP has a good point. Roads could be slippery. There could be traffic. And the most stupidest thing is that my cousin... Um, was late and some teacher said you're late and you're losing points now because you're getting late you have to get you got to get there on time do you know what happened the bus was packed because it was slippery there it was slippery roads that's another problem MSP um, wanted schools to be closed because frigid temperatures are dangerous polar vortex are dangerous great polar vortex are dangerous Bitter blast vortex is dangerous, or whatever the case may be for cold temperatures that are really dangerous. It, it is really dangerous, and kids should not go to school because temperatures, they say, oh, it's going to be 20 degrees. No, people can't predict the weather. It's going to be feeling like below. People can't predict the weather, people. You don't understand. Why would two people, and I can't believe a black man gets fired, and a, a, a old woman gets fired just because they couldn't predict the weather correctly. That is so sad. They lose money, and they had over like fourteen fourteen thousand dollars. They had twenty thousand dollars. Now they that now their price is over fourteen thousand dollars for not predicting the weather. So they weren't hired. So they started to get fired, and then they were in close. And remember that time when that person um, in the news said that about that airplane thing. That person was fired too because you know. But that was a good reason why the, the person should get fired because how would a person come in the airplane? Airplane. Okay, I'm getting off topic right now. But still, I have to say that two people two people from Fox 5 News shouldn't be fired over because they couldn't predict the weather. That is stupidity. That is humorous stupidity. They did make effort. Like Hurricane Sandy, Blizzard Hercules, 
Colfront Jackson. All that they made a big success then. Now there's now they're fired. Are you kidding me? Why would they be fired just because they couldn't predict the weather? That is sad. That is sad. Do you know what scientists are doing right now? And what? Please give me a comment. Do you agree scientists should make a machine that could predict the moisture, how much moisture, how much real, like for real, how much moisture we're gonna have in the area? Like, let's say that the blizzard's gonna head for the Long Island, and it did, Long Island and Boston, but not the Northeast. That's what they should have done. They should have scientists should make a machine to predict the weather, what, what, like the weather. Cold air, warm air, all that storms where they had for what they really had for. So that's what they should have done. And they should make more machines, more advanced machines because science is getting so advanced. They should make a machine that could um, predict more in the weather. But they they just they just fail to do that. And that's what makes the people can't predict the weather and people and the other people start fighting over it because they they said, okay, school is closed on Tuesday just because of blizzard. And it's going to be one of the most powerful storm history. But no, the blizzard didn't hit. It only hit Long Island, Boston. So people started fighting. Oh, why the kids didn't go to school? That's stupid. They can't predict the weather. Oh, this is fucking stupid. And they started cursing because they, they said, this black man, give some respect already. Give some freaking respect, people. Just because two people can't predict the weather. People are not good at predicting weather. Trust me, if you want to predict a weather, it's not going to be easy for you. You have to put a lot of effort in predicting the weather, how it's going to hit, how the storm is going to be, how much moisture is going to be, because scientists should be advanced in making machines to predict the cloud moisture, cold air mass, and warm air mass, and clean heat. I mean, it doesn't. that's sad. That is so sad. I feel bad for two people that are fired right now. Feel bad for them. Including MSP. They made an effort in predicting weather and they don't want kids going outside during frigid temperatures when it's dangerous. They just say, oh, the, the education is important. Yeah, I know. Education is really important. But I'm still telling you, people, it is dangerous because slippery roads and conditions. People can't predict the weather. Two people are fired from Fox 5 News. Two people. Two people. The old lady and this um, black man. Who were really good efforts. Who success. Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Bob. All those hurricanes from the past. But now they're two of them. Now they lost money. And now they're fired just because they couldn't predict the weather. Come on. It's hard to predict the weather. And that's my updates for now people. Um, hope you guys like this video. And tomorrow I will be making a video about my brother uh, on his opinions, what he has to say about this event. So, hope you guys like this video. And this is a sad update. And yeah, and peace. And have a great day. And be careful on the weather because tomorrow is going to be frigid. Sunday. And yeah, it's going to be bad. Hope you guys like this video. And bye.